Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2020 Carpenter Wines Pinot Noir. It's from Sonoma County, California. It's 13.7% alcohol by volume, 500 cases produced. And Carpenter Wines is going to be the guest for this week's Pink Society chat. So join us Thursday at 8 p.m. Central on Twitter. Join us for the chat. Use hashtag Pink Society. Use it in the responses. Use it in the search. Try to keep up. There's a lot that goes on here, but it's a lot of fun. However, they were kind enough to send this to me before the event, so let's take a look at it. All right, from a color standpoint, this is already looking a little bit darker than usual. I'm going to give you a medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. Yeah, well, I mean, looking at it right here, <laughs> it looks medium. Uh, when I looked at the picture, it looks pale, so pale to medium, I mean, but it's definitely a ruby color. On the nose, getting a little bit of raspberry, there's a little bit of cherry. There's also a slight hint of plum, which kind of threw me off a little bit here. I'm not getting really any like vanilla notes, but I am getting uh, an allspice. Just kind of like a touch of clove. And there is something very, very specific here. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. It is killing me here. The, I need to go, I need to go spend a few minutes in my pantry because I know I, the smell is in there. I will be right back. Yeah, so I was able to find the smell. Uh, the, what it reminded me of was an untoasted Marcona almond. I don't know why I specifically thought of that, but when I took the glass downstairs and I held them next to each other, that's really what came out. And there also may just be a little bit, just a tiny bit of cinnamon. Anyway, how does it taste? Medium body, medium tannins, high acid. And actually kind of like, elicited an initial reaction from my salivary glands, which is nice. I like high acid wines. The intensity on the fruit was medium plus on the palate. Uh, on the nose, the intensity is medium. The tannins are a little bit um, gravelly, uh, for lack of a better way of describing it. Uh, also, the fruit here is a nice mix between a just really nice ripe element, not overly ripe, but ripe element, and a little bit more of uh, like a sour fruit. For example, the red fruits like the cherry and the raspberry tend to be a little bit more sour, whereas that plum element that I was picking out tends to be more of a like a ripe, juicy plum. Uh, those secondary elements really are in balance with everything as well, so that's nice that something's not trying to club anything else over the head with, with its secondary notes. Yeah, it's a dry wine with a medium finish, and let's get to the blick to see how it rates. From a balance standpoint, full point. Length, medium finish, half a point. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium plus on the palate, 0.5. And in terms of complexity, uh, for a 2020, I don't expect any tertiary to be just showing up. Um, you have a really nice range of primary and secondary characteristics, especially on the secondary side, being a wide range and not being overpowering, I, I appreciate that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a full point. Now here's the deal with this one. It has a good amount of acid, it still has some tannins, so this can age for a while. Uh, I'd be interested to see what this wine is like in about five years or so, uh, because I feel like this is one of those wines that has the potential to develop some really nice tertiary. It'll mellow out those tannins a little bit more. Maybe those sour fruits will kind of go into more of like a ripe fruit. Maybe that plum goes into like a little bit of like a, a prune type of note that would be there. And then you also have those potential for like mushroom, that kind of forced floor, those types of elements that you get with Pinot Noir to develop. So I think that this wine, because of the acid and structure, still has a ways to go. So you can go ahead and drink it now, and it, you're gonna enjoy it. Or you can sit on it for a bit. And if you're someone who likes some tertiary development like me, you might actually enjoy it a little bit more. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Carpenter Pinot Noir? I'd be interested to know if you have. Don't forget to join us at 8 p.m. Central this Thursday for the Pink Society chat on Twitter. Like I said, search hashtag Pink Society. Use it in responses, and you're part of the chat as well. And I will see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.